Well, hello everybody. So today I believe is June 7th. It's Friday. Okay. So, you know, all this came in a while ago and now my dishwasher is also coming. And the problem is that my water is so hard that my dishwasher like doesn't really work right because it basically ends up baking the water hardness onto my dishes. And then also oftentimes when water is too hard, soap does not like sud correctly and things like that. Okay, so with my laundry, it's been like tolerable, but with dishwasher, it's not really working out. So I went and I got some cement blocks yesterday to put this up on, and then I just finished cutting off of a 2x4 these little thingamabobbers, um, to pieces of wood, whatever, to put these on, well, my water boss on. Um, it's a little bit interesting. I had thought about sticking it back in here, but... I don't know if you can see, the ground is actually kind of wet in through here. And I've just kind of rigged everything up because I had to get like a new jet pump, a new pressure tank, like everything since I first bought this house. And it's just kind of rigged. So I was thinking that I was going to put it back in that corner um, and then just take the plumbing here to the water softener and then back up to these other filters. But it's just not going to happen because it's too wet. And I had no choice but to acknowledge that it would be an act of great mental deficiency for me to put my fancy water boss 900 in that corner okay because it actually has some electronics it's not just like a pressure tank for example okay so it's much drier over here stays drier over here in general because I will have some water come into the basement it's, this is like a really old you know hundred year old house or more and it's got like a wet Michigan basement and you know even though he tried to start finishing it out somebody at some point it just doesn't make any sense for them to do that but in any case I went and I bought a whole bunch of plumbing parts and I am going to take that out of there into there along the ground okay and then it's gonna come actually back through these filters this way so it's not gonna be super efficient but I just don't feel like moving those right now and since they do like for example this one when I first got back in, I didn't, like, the gasket is not quite in right or something. So it just drips every once in a while, and it's enough for that, like, irony stuff to kind of accumulate and for some wetness. And then I switched my hose out um, to add more hosing outside. And also, since this one is, like, a collapsible fabric hose, I thought maybe it would be okay, but this one is also slightly dripping. So this is just going to be a safer spot. I'm super excited what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have to reroute this stuff and then basically right over here maybe on the other side of this drain pipe I'm gonna nail in a section of 2 by 4 that's gonna hang down just a little bit and then I'm going to mount my spin down filter that is going to be plumbed in after the water heater to catch any crud that comes out of the water heater once my softener gets hooked up okay and then I'm gonna be able to drain it from there it's gonna help protect all my mesh and stuff, like keep that from getting filled up with crap because, you know, it's one thing to take the end off of a faucet and drain the little mesh out. It's another thing to have to pull out your washer, your heavy washer out of a tiny little nook and, and undo the plumbing to get that out. So anyway, so I guess it wouldn't have been the washer so much. I'm kind of, rum well, rambling because I'm a little a bit exhausted. Okay, I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday, but yesterday was a super exciting day. Um, so anyways, that's going to go here. And the reason why it's going here instead of over here is, first of all, it's going to end up having a check valve on the other side. And it's going to be a swing gate check valve, which unlike, um, unlike a spring check valve, a swing gate check valve has to go in the right way. way whereas um, a spring check valve, you can like plumb it any which way and it's fine. Okay, but it's going to be a swing gate check valve and it's going to be great because it's going to have a third port up above. It's going to have a drain on it. Oh my gosh, I got myself a Peyton. He's coming for an adventure. Peyton. In my super messy basement. So much cuteness. But anyways, this is going to be great because basically, where is it? Oh, here's a Josephine. It's like, where did the kitten go? I got to go hiss at it. They haven't quite... Sorry, getting along yet. But anyways, I am going to be getting an on-demand water heater in the future. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that's going to get installed um, 
so this goes up to my dining area. It's not very good. This is all rusted out. This basement was flooded for quite a while um, before I bought it. So I have issues like this, this wood stove that would cost me about $1,800 or more to replace. And then it would be crazy to even just get somebody to, to pull this one out and just sink the other one into my basement from this door. I would maybe have to pull up my stairs just to get into the basement. It's, it's rusted out because they left the basement flooded for so long. So it doesn't work anymore and it's a little bit frustrating. But, um, but anyways, this, I'm, I'm not sure when or if exactly I'll be doing the copper piping around my wood stove, um, exhaust vent. Oh, there goes a Josephine. So if I do end up doing that project, this is going to get moved into the nook that is behind the wood stove into like a little, I'm going to build out like a little like water heater closet but it would have to be kind of elevated to be the right way to keep the water flowing. I'm just not sure if I'd have to drill holes into my water heater or how that would work. So I'm not really ready for to move this thing yet. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and get the on-demand water heater when I get it up there, instead of just rigging it in down here, you know, cause I wanted to rig it in after the typical, the standard water heater. Okay, and I'll probably do it so that I can have the water route through the on-demand one or not. I'm not sure, but it's gonna. I'm basically gonna put holes up there, and so it's gonna come in and then it's gonna come back out. Like so, this right here, the hot water, okay, will end up routing to the on-demand water heater and coming back and then going into the way the hot water is currently piped. So, anyways, I'm kind of. Tired, I haven't had any coffee yet. I got I got a catuation. Okay, the Josephine came down here just to try to show the baby who's boss, and the baby just adores Josephine. The baby adores Josephine and wanted to like rub up against Josephine and snuggle with Josephine, and the Josephine's not having it right now. So, anyways, y'all, this is Peyton. Okay. And this is grumpy Josephine, and I gotta make her know that she's still my number one. And it's tough because I named Peyton Peyton, so it's tough, guys. Okay. So, anyways, it's a little bit of a mess, but oh, you know, I didn't know. So, I don't know if you guys knew, but like, Lorda was threatening to have my hot water turned off because he was upset about what I was wearing when I was outside in the yard working again, and so I had to, I had to tell him that look, Lorda, if you turn my hot water off again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this bathtub outside and I'm gonna go take a bath under the satellites outside. I'm gonna let the water heat up in my old tub. And I'm gonna take a bath. I have to clean it out, obviously, okay? But this is gonna end up going outside eventually anyways, but under like a privacy screen, unless Lord L shuts off my hot water again. He's done that twice now, okay? And it's not even just my hot water. He takes out that whole, that whole, um, circuit basically because I have one light that goes to my stairwell that's also on that same circuit so this is this is how I keep my hot water on guys is this old bathtub that is gonna get pulled outside <laughs> so anyways take it easy y'all